tactics is very simple. It's a combination of shots built around your strengths and your style of play. Let's take a look at the various options of tactical combinations and determine the objectives for each. The serve and volley tactic is effective for applying immediate pressure on the opponent's ability to pass you. This tactic eliminates the rally phase of the point, allowing the server to highlight their strengths at the net. The chip and charge tactic is used primarily against second serves, where the returner advances to net behind the return of serve. This tactic is used to apply added pressure to the server's second serve and highlight the returner's strengths at net. A tactic that is created through the rally is a combination using a sharp angle to open the court followed by an offensive shot to the opening. A combination that can be used especially when the opponent tends to hit towards the center of the court is the corner to corner tactic which creates the options of hitting an offensive put away to the open court and at times hitting behind the opponent. A psychological type of tactic within the rally is the long point, often used to either establish momentum or to break the opponent's momentum, the objective of being consistent, playing a long rally, and trying to outlast your opponent can be very effective. Using a variety of shots like high loopers and slice will throw off the opponent's rhythm and timing, eventually frustrating them, causing them to make the error. Many aggressive baseliners look for the opportunity to surprise attack using the swinging volley tactic. Very effective against a high looping ground stroke in the rally, the swinging volley allows the player to force their way into net without having to wait for a short ball. A tactic designed to force the opponent into net would be the drop shot and lob or pass combination. This combination works well against players with weaknesses at net. Against players who are strong at net, the drop shot and lob tactic is still effective because the opponent will be at net, but not in control of the point. Attacking players rely on the pattern of deep down the line and short angle cross court for approaching and finishing the point off at net. This pattern in a one-two punch allows them to position at net, open the court, and finish strong with an angle cross court put away. I want to be a top player in order for me to be number one. I'm going to have to come to the net more, make that choice, my decision, my mind first. So what, what both you girls have, have really decided is that coming forward it is probably your forte to, to really reach the, the ultimate in the ranking. I definitely would think so because, you know, the greatest players like Pete Sampras and Boris Becker, all the greats, they all came to the net. They also had ground strokes. It's also important to be consistent Terrific. because you can't always come to the net. You have to have a mix-up in your game. It just can't be one-dimensional.